I'm going to film Victory for you. And I think at the moment you can see his very light blue eyes. So he is a blue-eyed white. This is a recognised colour pattern in alpacas. I believe in America it's actually thought quite desirable. Here in the UK we don't particularly like it because there is a link to deafness. You just saw a little example there of him having a scratch. I think that alpacas, hold on, we've got another one having a scratch there now. I think it's probably the heat. But alpacas can scratch absolutely anywhere on their body. Or if they can't reach it by scratching, then they can um, nibble at it with their very long necks. So let's go back. Oh dear, that's Venus. And her career is the Grey Romeo. Uma stood in front. And also under there is Victory. Now, I was mentioning about the blue-eyed white gene being linked to deafness. We honestly are not sure if he is deaf or not, because he's so responsive to when people are around him and so alert that I'm not sure he is. We've previously, over the last 28 years, had uh, two other blue-eyed white career. One absolutely definitely wasn't deaf. One absolutely definitely was. Victory, jury's out. We will assume that he's deaf, but it won't make any difference to his living ability because they live in a herd and actually they take their signals from the other alpacas if they're deaf and it, does, um, it doesn't it does stop them having a full healthy life. We just wouldn't use him for breeding, but he's really not a breeding male anyway. Just looks like a headless alpaca at the moment. You're going to come and say hello to us. Get my own shadow in it. What an example of how flexible they are. And his eyes look quite dark there. That's because at some point I moved from Victory to Finn. That's Finn. There's Victory. Just grazing there. I've got too many white career. I wonder when I swapped over. Definitely. It's no wonder that Victory's eyes looked uh, so dark. It wasn't Victory at all. It was Finn. So there we are, there's the beautiful Finn.